Moa, welcome back to Moathon. We are on the dream. Wow, I almost said the dream chapter. I clearly missed the dream chapter. We're on the chaos chapter freeze. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is part one of the album listen. I'm splitting this into two, I almost said three parts. I'm splitting it into two parts just to even it out and because copyright is a thing and I can't listen to the entire album in one video. So today for part one, we're getting to anti-romantic, which I'm so excited about. I have heard, you know, the, the hook. Sorry, I'm an anti-romantic. Like that's the only thing, that's the only part that I know. And I kind of know like the melody because of that part. And on it was trending on TikTok. So obviously it was like inevitable for me to hear it. <laughs> And we're also going to get to ice cream, which I'm really excited for because I know there was like ice cream in the Eternally music video, which they talk about ice cream a lot. And then we're also going to get to what if I had been that Puma. And from what I know about Puma, that's like a very deep title. Oh my god. And in part two, we're going to get to No Rules, Dear Sputnik, and Frost. Oh my god, so that is the album listen. I'm so excited. Now, I'm very new to OBS. So I'm going to be recording my screen and I have my headphones connected. I just did a test to see if you could still hear the audio with my headphones connected. And it seemed to be working, but if it's not, I'm gonna be very upset. Also, my air conditioner is on, so that's what that noise is if you hear it. But anyways, I'm gonna start recording. Actually, not right this second because I need to click on this first. We're gonna do color coded lyrics like I always do because you guys know me and my color coded lyrics. But Moa, welcome back to Moa Thumb. We're almost done, which is crazy. This is an album I have been anticipating so so much. I'm just genuinely so excited to hear this album. I just know it's gonna be amazing. But let me unmute this. And I'm gonna start recording. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna put this in the big screen. And we have TXT and T Romantic in one, two, three. I don't know who loves me. And I don't care jumping up. Already? So oh my god. They sound so good. Who's connected with him? Is that Terry? It's the having like kind of beat in the beginning and then it kind of goes straight to like acapella acoustic kind of. Ooh, Terry sounds good like this. I mean, they all do. Ooh. Wait, 
Why do I want this to be longer? Why isn't this longer? Oh my god. I don't know what, I, I feel like because it was talked about so much, I kind of just assumed it was gonna be like more of an upbeat song. But then again, like I shouldn't have because TXT have such really good slow songs. Like Nephilim Star is still one of my favorite slow songs that they have like ever, like in a discography, like ever. I really like, I feel like I do gravitate more to their sadder songs, which is like, which is weird. Like I do enjoy their upbeat stuff, but like, my favorite song is literally Zero by One and like following up from that it's literally Loser Lover and like those are two of their like deeper songs like yeah they're kind of upbeat I guess but like the meanings you know what I mean and I feel like that's I don't know like oh my god that song is so pretty it give it gave me very like like it was very angelic to me I don't know what was so angelic to me about it but it was like very like angelic and like refreshing in a way like I can't describe the way the sound is like I really can't okay so that was anti anti romantic is it anti or anti? It's they said anti, so anti-romantic. But I think so far out of this entire album, because we've I've only listened to what? How many songs have I listened to this album? Just one. I've only listened to Magic. Oh my God, Zero by One is the the title track. So obviously my favorite song off of this album is Zero by One. Like that is a given. Like nobody's ever gonna beat that song. Like that is my that that's my queen of this album. That is what made me stand TXT. So that will forever be my favorite TXT song. Um. But I think Anti-Romantic might be like my second favorite. Like Magic is really, really good. It's so fucking happy and so upbeat. I love that song. But I don't know, we still have a bunch of songs to get to and I hear a lot of people talk about Dear Sputnik, so I'm excited for part two, honestly. So like I said, now we have Ice Cream. Anti-Romantic was definitely worth the hype. I can see how it was very hyped. Oh, it's such a pretty song. Oh my God, okay, now we have Ice Cream color-coded lyrics, which I'm so excited for the song. And it's weird because I don't really hear much about Ice Cream, but I know that they had a song called Ice Cream because I mean, I feel like TXC have talked about Ice Cream a lot in their, like with their storyline. Um, I don't know what their song has to do with Ice Cream. Definitely like symbolizes childhood and stuff because they do symbolize that a lot in their storyline. Um, but I'm gonna make sure this is recorded. They record <clears throat> because I'd be scared. Um, so we have TXT ice cream. I'm like kind of off frame, sorry. I want to make sure you're able to see the, the lyrics. In one, two, three. Okay, this didn't start how I thought I was going to. But then again, one does it. Okay. What kind of song is this? Oh, it's like ice cream. Oh shit! This, I thought it was gonna be like poppy. Oh, stupid! Stupid! Oh, the way he said that crazy, what the fuck? What the fuck? Are these still boy concept photos? They're singing very low in the song. 
The way they're saying I scream, it sounds like they're saying ice cream. I don't know if that was um intentional, but if it was, they're fucking clever for that. Yeah, yeah. Oh Did we get hewning? A whole hewning verse? Pause. Pause. one thing but it's completely the other and this is this is this is another one of those cases but like in the best way this is so good i think this is like one of their more catchy like to me this is very very catchy like this is gonna be stuck in my head like i i just know it is like the yeah that part was it just made me so fucking happy like it just uh it gave me like very pop vibes but like the actual like melody and beat of the song give me like old school kind of vibes a little bit like it gave me kind of like i don't want to say 80s or 90s because i don't fucking know like the years like that but like the way like the i don't know the way the beat is and like the melody is like the way they're singing here gave me very like old school kind of like retro a little bit like i don't know it was really really good though i love the way it's on here Huni Kai, he stands out a lot here to me and yunbin need to stop like the, the back and forth the way they were singing so low in this song taking me out oh my god but i think oh my god i can't this is one of my favorites like this is it's definitely up there but i haven't even heard the rest of the album i feel like this is gonna be a no skip album this is gonna be a no skip album isn't it oh my god this is so good yeah yeah that part is stuck in my head that's i don't know what about that i don't know what it is about that part but it's it's, it's good yes okay so i think next i said it was what if i had been that puma yes that's the next one that's the last one for part one let me <clears throat> okay, we have What if I had been that Puma in one, two, three. Pick your job, pay your be balance, give my Puma. I'm gonna get my number. Already, already, no, no, my personal. Yeah, come up in the bungalow. So, can I take a pallet to Mulana? Say, wait, hold on. I'm like paranoid. Let me make sure this is recording. Okay, it is. I just had to make sure, like, I'm, I'm like paranoid. Um, anyways. Like a little bit and yeah, and take a The slight auto on their voices. Oh my god, yes I do. I need you to I tell do. me. I do, I do. Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> Jaded? 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 You're jaded? Okay. 
anyways, the slight undertone on the voices here, it like, it like goes with the beat very well. So I can see the intention behind it. Okay, why did I get like like flashbacks to eternally? How like it kind of switched up out of nowhere and then went back? If this does this shit again, I'm gonna throw up. I think I switched entirely, but his voice was like I'm never like the I never I'm never against auto tune, but I feel like specifically in this song they could have used a little less, just a little bit. Like it's not too much where it's like why do you sound like a robot? Obviously, because I know they can sing, but I feel like for certain parts they could have toned it down a little bit. But there's definitely reasons why people do use it for the style of the song and for how the song's supposed to make you feel and stuff, which I totally get that. Um, and I know that's definitely that's probably why they even had it there in the first place. But I wish there was just a little less here, just a little less, you know, just, just a tiny bit. But other than that, it's, it's great. It's like you, very obvious. Like it's very obvious so it's like it's a little bothering but honestly there's something I could do about it the song already exists <laughs> but honestly I don't know I, th I thought the song was gonna be like like maze in the mirror like that kind of vibe did I say the title wrong I thought it was gonna be like that kind of vibe of a song but it's actually not it's like definitely a little bit more upbeat than that but like they were definitely talking about the puma and zoo and like having to choose and like being sad but I think this song is still good I just wish you know the other two was Oh, I'm sorry, that scared me. That's my mom in the garage, by the way. So if you hear that, that that's who that is. But um, I feel like if the auto tune was toned down a little bit, it would have been better. But that doesn't like downplay how good this song is still good. I don't think this is gonna be my favorite off of the album. I think the ones competing for like the second spot, because you know, Zero by One is number one for me. I think the ones competing for second spot are literally anti-romantic and ice cream. Those are so good. I feel like ice cream is gonna be like one that like creeps up on me because like it has a really catchy like melody but moa i hope you enjoyed
that's the car. I hope you enjoyed Moathong. We're on episode 22, right? This is part one of episode 22, like I said. Yeah, we're on 22. Like, that is actually insane. But I hope you're enjoying Freeze Era so far. I know I am having a great time here. And I'll see you guys for part two where we will get to the rest of the album. But Mo, I hope you enjoyed again. And I will see you for part two tomorrow. And yeah, bye!